Hello, my name is Grace, and I'm a final year student at UQ majoring in journalism. Hi, my name is Natalie Peluso, and I have just completed my third year of a Bachelor of Psychological Science here at UQ. How much time, Grace, should I be making for my uni work? So UQ, suppose we spend 10 hours a week on every subject, but it all depends because like for some, um, for some people, they have their own commitment, like their work commitment, or like, like you, the family commitment. Mm. So um, it depends on yourself, like how much effort do you want to pay on it. And like for some subjects, if you're like really unfamiliar with the topic, you have to spend more time. But mm. like for some, if you're really like, if you feel like you're an expert in this field, mm. then you can try to spend less, but um, always more time is the better. Yeah, totally, I agree. I think, I actually use that, so I'm, I'm a bit of a nerd at the beginning of a semester where I'll be like, okay, so if I'm doing a workload of say four subjects, that's 40 hours a week. And some of that includes lecture time and, and tute time. So you can take those hours out. So that's on average three to four hours of that 10 hours is already taken for you. So then you say, okay, so I've got say seven hours a week on this subject. How am I gonna split up that one hour a day, for example? Or, you know, if you want to have your weekends off, split that away. And then say, what can I do? And what do I actually need to do? What, how much does, does that course require me to read material? Frequently courses will give you a whole chapter for a week's reading, for example, from whatever textbook you might be working on. Uh, they might be papers instead. Um, so that is one thing you can chunk away. And then if you've got assignment prep, you can definitely schedule that in from the very beginning of the, of the semester if you can, if you know what the assignment's going to be on. You can already be slotting that kind of work in. Um, and having some kind of rough timetable I think will help because then you know, okay, rather than sitting down and saying, what am I going to do today? You've got a vague idea, even if it's just from four till six, I work on my biology or I work on my, you know, neuroscience in my case. Um, having that rough timetable gives you a really good idea of how to spread out the work during the week and you won't feel like you're cramming. I would recommend students to like um, have a look at the ECP at the beginning yeah, of the sure. semester because it lists out all of the um, assignments mm -hmm. and all of the um, lectures, what the lecture is about. So you can have like a really good preparation when you have a, like a brief idea of what your subject is about mm -hmm. and just... I'm, I, I know this kills trees, but I do that. I print out my ECPs for my subjects and I stick them somewhere in front of me in my, uh, in my office. And that, that, so you can see each week what the lecture is going to be, what the tute will be, when, what, if there's a quiz that week, if there's an assignment coming up. It's really, really helpful. And I'm such a visual person. I, it just really helps for me to have it in front of me. Um, but clearly that, that ECP has, a, has all the resources that you need to really plan your journey for the semester. Thank you.